Hi boys and girls, it's Mr. Cooper from Foundry 42 Storytime and today we're going to be reading The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. I love this story so much because it's really, first of all, it talks about eating which is one of my most favorite things to do and also how we all ultimately will transform into a beautiful butterfly and we're going to be doing some counting together too. So let's start. For my sister, Krista. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. That sun is so beautiful, huh? I love those colors. He started to look for some food. Oh, hello, Coco. That's Coco. She just snored. <laughs> so on Monday, the very hungry caterpillar ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. One apple. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. Can you count with me? One, two pairs. I can hear you. One, two pairs. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still very hungry. One, two, three plums. Three. And that color of blue is just gorgeous, huh? On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. One, two, three, four strawberries. Do you know the word for strawberry in Spanish? It's fresa, fresas, strawberries. On Friday, he ate through what? five oranges, but he was still hungry. One, two, three, four, and five. Can you count in Spanish with me? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, naranjas. Oranges, naranjas. Okay, on Saturday, he ate through a piece of chocolate cake one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon! Oh my goodness! That night he had a stomach ache though. I would have a stomach ache too. Holy Christmas. The next day was Sunday again. And the caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore. He wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. And beautifully fat, I think. Look at that curvy, beautiful shape. He built a small house called a cocoon and he built it around himself and he stayed inside for, for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole through a cocoon and pushed his way out. Guess what he became? I can't hear you. Guess what the caterpillar became? You're right. Oh my goodness, he was a beautiful butterfly, just like you. Thanks for stopping in and sharing my story with me today. We're friends to the end. Bye.